Hello everyone, this is Richard Cespedes, and I welcome you back for another gameplay. We're playing The Simpsons Bart's Nightmare for the SNES. This game is another fond game that I was just in love with um, back in the childhood. I used to watch uh, The Simpsons regularly. I remember they had a few marathons that, that they came out in the early 90s. Watch them. Really fun times. Coming back from Peter Pat Pizza, watching the Simpsons Marathon. I think it was around 7 or 8 o'clock at night, somewhere on there. We're gonna go into this room. And we're gonna play as Godzilla ripoff Bartzilla. As a kid, this level was really, really fun. They did a great, real great job on it, like I always say in a lot of bunch of video games. The creators did an awesome job in making this level and particularly this whole entire game. Great scenery, great environment, background, lots of action, fun, humor, power plant, possibly multiple power plants from uh, Mr. Burns. That was a three hitter quitter right there for those helicopters or jet planes, whatever they are. Smashy smashy, as Bart says. Alright. So we got this page, now we need to climb up the building and get the other one. From uh King um Homer, whatever. King Kong Homer. Which oddly resembles the Bigfoot from the first season episodes of The Simpsons. When he covered himself with, with mud. And there's Mothra. Marjthra. I guess they would call her Marjthra. And it's so strange how Bart dreams of his family members being villains in his in his dreams like nightmares, you know. I would think that subconsciously the mother would be uh, 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 someone that would relieve him from the nightmare, you know, someone that would help him in the dreams. I thought he was small. He's pretty damn big. Well, now he shrinks and falls down. It's been a while since I played this game. So this dream gets you two of them. I always like this part of the game. Walking around this dreamy dreamscape um level of the town going to the purple one I always like the way they did that with the doors on top of the paper you know real creative on their part and boom goes down finally got it right yeah, family guy and boom goes down <laughs>
They're viruses. Virus soldiers. I like the way I, I love this level too. Um this dream, I guess you would say. Because uh when you get closer and closer, the background starts to uh go all crazy and wild and change color. Right there. They start picking up those uh nuclear little guys, you know the from the first episode of Simpsons, those are the nuclear I forgot what they're called, but they're like little cartoon characters from uh, when I think um, Bart visits Homer at his pl at the job. They watch that video of the little nuclear guys. I don't know if they're nuclear, probably something else. But anyway. I have a couple of the seasons of The Simpsons, mostly the, the older ones, the 90s ones are the ones I enjoy the most. Season 6, 7, 1, 4, so I watch them all the time, I enjoy The Simpsons so I know a lot of their uh, quotes very, very well. Ah, got it. The door is open. <laughs> In his room, he fell asleep. That's very comfortable to sleep on your face. Sitting up, sitting while you sleep on your face. Flat. That's very comfortable. Huh? I like the way you could, uh, the way you attack these dream monsters or demons, whatever, jump over them. A little television set. Oh, it exploded. And that bus driver is just all blasting through. Go on this one. Ah, yes. As a kid, this was the one of my favorite ones. This one, the itchy and scratchy one, were the best ones. Clown balloons. And you, you know, like, you're high as hell. I mean, you're flying high, like, I would say, like, 25% uh, toward the atmosphere high. And I like the way they had that little block as uh, life for the enemies. The block decreases inward. As you, um, as they start to die, I always love that. These little bosses, and that's gonna be a far fall for them. Oh, here comes another one. I always like the way that uh, with the slingshot, you're able to just continuously, like almost automatic shooting, and like depending on how f how you angle Bart, um, the arc and range of the projectiles change. So that's very very cool. So you can just hang over them and just drop the projectiles on them. 
That's an explosion. There's a boo and I'm dying, I need some life. Rockets from the kids from the elementary school. Just shooting at you. The uh, water bottle rockets. But in this dream, they're. Uh, they have more something more expensive. Principal Skinner actually shelled out some cash for the, the kids' education, you know, in terms of science and all that. Oh, yeah, you need that. I always loved um, The Simpsons because um, it, it had a, uh, to me, it had a very direct correlation with Michael Jackson because uh, I remember um, if you haven't seen the whole video of Michael Jackson's um, Black or White, at the very, very beginning, even before, um, or I think it's the end. Of, of the music video beginning or the end I can't remember but it has uh, the Simpsons you know with Bart jumping on the couch and then his dad comes in yelling at him and all that so the Simpsons was a direct correlation they collaborated with Michael Jackson and it was just a perfect era for that you know these green clouds I love that great obstacles in this game obstacles in this level just goes to show how legendary and how um, great this game is because of the correlation and the collaboration with Michael Jackson and vice versa. And also to um, one of the early videos which I, I, I haven't seen, I couldn't, I can't seem to find in the early uh, episodes of The Simpsons where there's this one um, overweight guy in jail that sounds and sings like Michael Jackson, a bald, overweight man. I don't, I don't know if you guys reckon I know that one, but uh, I haven't. I, I don't know which season or which episode that one is. I know it's an early episode, but I just don't know which one is because I've watched season two and three. I don't know if it's season four or what, but I just can't seem to find that episode. Maybe um, because I rented some of them and I was only able to rent a few discs from Hastings of the episode of uh, seasons 2 and 3 perhaps I didn't get to see all the discs and so that had that was another direct correlation two correlation two collaborations or like not collaboration but like a, uh, a direct uh, connection to Michael Jackson and just showing how big he was and how big Simpsons were and how big um, and creative um, the entertainment was in that day that it had The Simpsons, which was groundbreaking, and Michael Jackson, which was a groundbreaking innovative dancer and singer, all in the same era. And there I go. And these guys are just ramming right through through Bart. Like, they just don't give a damn. They don't give a shizzle, man. They just, just what is it going to drive right through him. Alright. Number four, cuatro. And four more to go. Demonic baseball or basketball. I mean. Oh, this Principal Skinner with a bag, with a fish in a plastic bag. And there's a mutated three-eyed fish. I remember that saxophone from Lisa, subconscious Lisa, and his dreams. Oh, I didn't see where he had a, 
a wire hanger. I don't know what the hell he has a wire hanger in his hand. Sorry about that, I just uh, wasn't able to see it well. I'm trying to not get hit and attacked. Looks like Bart got his clothes changed, and now he's ready for church. This is like an endless level too, because uh, if you don't find a paper kind of flip-flopping around, you're just going to be going around in circles. And your Z's are your life, so you got to watch out not to get smacked around by these dream demons. There we go, now I'm back to close. You gotta go around and look for those papers. A floating watermelon, only in a dream. Lisa turns you into a froggy. Oh, there you go again. Oh. Talk about being the bad crowd. I'll find it, I'll find it. There it is. That took a while. All right, my favorite level. They really did an awesome job on this level. Bart's, Bart's all breathing hard. And boom goes the enemy. This looks a little better. Now this is a wild dream, a wild level. Two for the price of one.
bit. <clears throat> One of the other things I want to talk about too is that um, the animation for The Simpsons, you know, was just very awesome. Um, they have like there was nothing back then. Having this cat and this mouse itching, scratchy, attack each other. Not only attack each other, but they took it up to another level. They actually showed blood and decapitations and all types of crazy ass stuff that like in the 80s and 70s there was nothing like that at all so like the, the Simpsons was like cutting edge you know bar none everything else is just copying the Simpsons that's all I gotta say I like the movie um, but I kinda feel like um, the creative aspect and the uh, heart in terms of the humor and the plots and all that if the Simpsons so the Simpsons film the Simpsons movie if it came out in the 90s mid or earlier even late 90s I think that the movie would have been better because they had better writers and it was a better era for uh, more inspiration and you know It was also a, a decline for Michael Jackson too because uh, the 90s and 80s was his era in terms of creativity because the era, um, things were more simpler and uh, when he did something, um, a lot of things were groundbreaking back then, you know, it was just uh, the innocence of the era, innocence of society, games, music, um, comic books, you, you have it. Like, when you did something back then, you know, if you're an artist, whatever medium it was, films, music, art, um, paintings, whatever, it, it was felt and it was recognized, you know? So, like, I think that if the film was made, um, in the 90s, the, the Simpsons movie would have just, it would have been awesome. Alright. I hope that the second one, you know, Lisa says at the end of the Simpsons movie, sequel so like you know um they haven't come up with it yet and i'm pretty sure they're not planning on it uh now i'm pretty sure um when the simpsons gets closer to the end cancellation or just uh, uh matt groaning wants to put it to an end or whatever because the uh the voice actors are getting older and mr corrupt Cor uh miss Krabappel, uh, the voice actor Miss Krabappel's already passed away, so like everyone's getting old and uh, they're losing their interest in, in The Simpsons. The only thing that's keeping them in there is probably the money. So like eventually they have to come up with a second Simpsons soon, uh, but only that. But they should also try to make a better uh, movie because it's the end, you know. Oh wow, then that's scary right there. That kind of reminds me of uh, the very first episodes of The Simpsons, where um, they had it on the Tracy Allman show or whatever. I don't know if it was the right name or whatever. She was a comedian and all that. that was, that's when I that's when I first saw The Simpsons too. Was was from her sketch show, the the comedic sketch show from the um, it was in the late '80s or something or early '90s, whatever. And it had that one episode, the memorable episode that everyone remembers, the one episode. Where um, um, Homer buys or makes um, Bart a bed, a clown bed, a creepy ass clown bed, and that kind of reminds me of just that one scene you saw in this this game right now, with I Itchy's face in the doorway, big old head and the tongue coming out. It kind of reminds me of that because it's like uh. It's like a big old huge thing and it's like creepy as hell, you know? I like, the, I like the way they did that. I mean, just the artistry, you know? They always had, uh, the, the artistry was always there. And they, uh, um, the way they drew the clown with the hands and the feet, the hands um, uh, grabbing the feet. And the, uh, basically you're slipping, uh, you're, Bart was sleeping on the lap of the creepy clown that's basically what the bed was and it was just a big old huge creepy thing and also to uh, talk about the era in terms of uh, Seinfeld 
was also um, aired somewhere around the same time as The Simpsons. I remember watching the first season of, of the pilot or whatever, the first season, first episode of the Seinfeld shows, and uh, just like I said, like the era um, beckoned creativity, you know. And uh, it was just uh, the great writing, great acting, and the Seinfeld was just destined to be great, you know. Simpsons, Michael Jackson, movies, music, everything was just awesome back then. Red and Stimpy. What happened? And that's why. Like, I'm just so happy to have been born in that era, you know, just so damn happy to have witnessed that, to be born of that, to see and taste and live it, and just for it to be in the fiber of my being, you know, because you had to live that era in order for you to understand what it was, you know. And like I say all the time, like it wasn't that great all the time, but when things came out, when things shook, it shook. When an awesome song came out, it shook. When a good show came out, it shook. When a good movie came out, it shook. You know, like it, people noticed and it, it, it was recognized. You know, the artistry and the dedication was recognized. And so now we're progressing in the itchy and scratchy level. Getting them papers, life threatening papers. Gain some points here. Like the way the the points just kind of pop and then they just fall. You know, that's that's great. It's real great. I guess this is like um, the cartoon version of um, The Simpsons House with Itchy and Scratchy in it, you know? I like to just sit here and just get these points. I've seen this in another video. And so like, by getting points, you're actually able to get like a lot of, a lot of great treats from that. And so, um, I'm gonna end the game here, but I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'm gonna upload the last and second part, the second part is gonna be the last one, for Bart's Nightmare, The Simpsons, Bart's Nightmare for the SNES. Uh, thank you all for watching, Keep, be patient with me, I'll put up as soon as possible. This is close to the end, I only have a few pages left. And thank y'all for watching. I hope you guys loved this part as much as I did. So if I talk too much, just love this game and love the 90s. Thank y'all very much. God bless. And be patient with me. I'll upload the second one as soon as possible. The second and last one. Thanks. Bye.